Yeah. All right, good morning and welcome to the Committee on Land Use. I am Councilmember Rafael Salamanca, the chair of this committee. I would like to welcome my esteemed colleagues who are members of this committee that are present today. We have uh, Council Members Reynoso, Lansman, Constantinides, Chair Moya, Rivera, Torres, Richards, Ku, and Chair Adams, <coughs> and uh, Gredenchik. I want to thank Chair Moya and Chair Adams for their work on our land use subcommittees. Today we will be voting on a number of projects referred out of our zoning subcommittee. We will be voting to approve pre-considered LUs 412 for the 66 Hudson Yards Streetscape Tax Amendment for property in Speaker Johnson's district in Manhattan. The proposed action would modify the special Hudson Yards district tax relating to ground floor uses and planning planting regulations in Subdistrict A. The proposed tax amendment will facilitate the development of a new Class A office building, which will be accompanied by an anchor tenant, Pfizer, as its new headquarters. We will also vote to approve LUs 403 and 404 for the 47-1534 Avenue rezoning in Councilmember Van, Bramer, Van Bramer's district in Queens. The original proposed zoning map change was from an existing C8-1 to R6B and R5 zoning districts to a mix of R7X slash C2-4 and R6B slash C2-4 districts. The tax amendment would map the project's area as a mandatory inclusionary housing area, utilizing MIH option 2. The City Planning Commission modified the proposed R7X slash C2-4 district to a R7D slash C2-4 while maintaining the R6B slash C2-4 portion. The actions as modified by the CPC will facilitate the development of a new 11-story mixed-use building with approximately 187 dwelling units, including approximately 57 permanently affordable units and commercial and community facility uses at the ground floor. We will also vote to approve pre considered LUs 413 and 414 for the East Harlem follow-up actions for property in Councilmember Ayala's district in Manhattan. The proposed actions memorialized in the East Harlem neighborhood rezoning points of agreement would modify the allowable building height in an existing C6-4, R8A, and R7D districts along Park Avenue in the special East Harlem Corridor District. Requires subway entrance, relocation for a development of at the intersection of Lexington Avenue and East 116th Street, and remove the special district designation from an existing R7B district. We will also vote to approve the modifications pre-considered 411 for the Minot Products Tax Amendment for property in Councilmember Van Bramer's district in Queens. The proposed action would amend the use regulations related to existing manufacturing buildings. The action would facilitate the enlargement of an existing building in an M3-2 district to accommodate, expand, and streamline manufacturing operations. A modification will clarify the applicability of the proposed amendment in terms of geographic location. We'll also vote to approve the modification pre LUs 397 for the Residential Mechanical Voice Tax Amendment in Council Districts 1 through 9, 16, 26, and 27. The tax will modify existing bulk regulations for residential buildings in non-contextual R9 and R10 residential districts and the commercial district equivalents. DCP's original application proposed a 25-foot height threshold for the establishment whether, establishing whether a building enclosed mechanical space would be counted as a zoning floor area. The City Planning Commission modified the text amendment, increasing the threshold to 30 feet. Our modification will restore the original proposed 25-foot height threshold. Our modification will also limit the applicable uh, the rule for certain developments in commercial districts. Are there any questions or remarks from members of the committee? All right. Seeing none, I will call on a vote in accordance with recommendations of the local members and of the subcommittees to approve pre considered LUs 412, 413, and 414, and LUs 403 and 404, and to approve with modifications one. And to approve with modifications, I have described pre considered 397 and pre considered 411. Will the clerk please call the roll? William Martin, uh, committee clerk, roll call vote, committee on land use. All items are coupled. Chair Salamanca. Aye, I know. Constantinides. Aye, I know. Ku. Aye. Lanceman. Aye. Reynoso. Aye. Richards. Aye. Torres. Aye. Gorenchik. Aye. Adams. Aye. Moya. Aye. Rivera. 
by a vote of 11 in the affirmative, zero in the negative, and no abstentions. All items have been adopted by the committee. All right, I would like to thank members of the public, my colleagues, council, and annual staff for attending today's hearing. We will leave the roll open for eight minutes.